Hey, what's up guys? Bashira here. So this video is going to be a bit of a bounce back chest workout for me. As you guys uh, may have heard, I'm going to be talking on, I guess on stream, I'm not sure if I've made a gym video since my epic leg day. But um, sometimes when I do squats, especially really heavy squats, where I pretty much call to bear my entire physical machinery, basically, um, my elbow starts to flare up a little bit, like my left elbow. Just get a little bit of inflammation in there. Nothing that actually mechanically interferes with my lifts, but it hurts and it's annoying. And I feel like a lot of times I should probably let it rest rather than keeping it aggravated and hurting. So my bench workouts have been pretty much, um, if not brief, I've kind of been letting chest day just kind of pass by and focusing on doing a little bit more like deadlifting than normal perhaps. Or just because I still want to do exercises that are challenging and fun. But I've been I've been taking it easy on my chest workout. So this has been one of the chest workouts. I guess for the probably the first one in a week. Maybe I only skipped like one chest workout really. But this one uh, felt pretty good. Not a whole lot of pain in my elbow. But I also didn't really go all that heavy. Kind of doing some reps, trying to keep good form. And if you'll notice, I'm bringing the bar um, not right on top of my chest. Like a lot of times people will bench along like the nipple line. Uh, but I'm actually bringing this down almost to my stomach. And uh, you know, powerlifting style, bouncing that bad boy off my gut. But um, not, not really quite that low either. Uh, just kind of trying to use good form. But one of the reasons I'm doing this is because I really feel like this helps engage my chest. And I'm really not putting a lot of pressure on my elbow where I have to sort of uh, ha involve some torque in there where the bicep is being activated even with my bench. It's really kind of just setting the bar down with my lats almost. And my triceps are driving, but it's really mostly my chest and lats I feel that are doing most of the movement, and the triceps are just there to, to help get the weight up. So that's a form that I've been wanting to practice, and I have been practicing, and that actually helps remove, um, at least take my elbow out of a position that feels more painful, I guess. Uh, and of course, my shoulders are not really involved in the movement as much either, but one of the fun things is um, my lats are definitely involved, and it's kind of a strange thing to think about, having your lats involved in a bench press, but almost like... It's, it's not really something I can do when I'm bench pressing, but if you guys practice this, kind of like flaring your lats out. I'm going to do it right now while I'm recording. Uh, flare your lats out a little bit and almost like push your elbows into your lats and sort of see how low your wrists are when you keep them parallel to the ground in that position when you're standing up. That's kind of what I'm going for when I'm benching. Now, obviously, it's not quite that exaggerated, but I'm keeping the bar lower so that I can kind of use, my, use the pressure of my triceps against my lats to drive what feels like straight up, if not a little bit like almost throwing the bar um, up and over my head, like a, um, like an overhead press kind of, that motion, where it's not a straight bar path, but it does feel a lot better for me in terms of keeping my keeping the weight on my chest and keeping my triceps um, in what feels like a more vertical push position. It's kind of hard to describe, but it's a form that I've been working on and, uh, and basically something I'm happy about because my elbow didn't hurt when I was lifting, so that made me happy. So once again, Basically, what made my, my elbow flare up was doing the super squat workout where I did an all-time max of 365, then I did 5x5 through 15. Really demanding, and I even though I have been trying to keep my uh, my form good on my squats, sometimes I'll just you know, squeeze everything I got, including my arms, pushing against the bar. So next time I do squats, I'm going to do a real wide grip. Uh, I'm going to focus on uh, flexing my back and my shoulders and not really using my arms at all. That's kind of my diagnosis for how to help. And, and whenever I do that, my elbow doesn't hurt and everything's all good, so I'm happy about that. That's what I'm going to do next time. But for this workout anyway, um, I didn't really stick to any particular kind of plan. I think I'm showing you most of my sets that I did, um, except for my warm-up sets. Um, I think I did, like, maybe only just, like, two or three sets with 245 for five. So I didn't do, like, a 5x5 five five kind of thing. But I did, I did a few sets of 245, I think only maybe just two. And I think the, the sort of main bulk of the weight that I did was three sets of 275 for three. So once again, you know, my elbow wasn't really hurting that bad, but I also didn't really want to make it hurt. Bench isn't usually what makes it hurt anyway, but uh, it definitely can cause it to flare up. But well, like I said, with the form I was using and with the weights that I was lifting, it really wasn't, um, you know, it wasn't too difficult of a workout, but it also wasn't a workout that was going to make uh, me have my elbow hurt. But all in all, I think benching, my, my form, taking the time to, to uh, practice a form that, that takes my little elbow inflammation out of the movement, I think it's actually helpful overall for my bench pressing later on, just because I feel like it forces me to be in a more efficient, stronger position, and using my lats to bench is actually one of those things that I've been wanting to practice anyway, so taking some time to do a bit of like a, almost like a deload week for bench pressing 
is probably a good thing, especially because I guess the week before, um, I ended up hitting 330 on the bench, which is my all-time max. And I think after a couple training sessions of bench where I get my form back together and everything, everything starts feeling good, I bet I could go for 330. Now one of the things I am practicing is maintaining the arch, just so I can access my uh, my lats and everything like that on the lift, but also keeping my butt down a little bit so that when I do go for the 335 or whatever else I want to do, my butt stays on the mat or stays on the uh, on the bench right there, and I you know get a get a good clean lift. I mean obviously my butt coming up off the bench when I'm training isn't really that big of a deal, but if I am thinking of powerlifting at some point, it's probably a good idea to try to maintain the habit of keeping my butt on the the bench as it is. But anyway, my my chest workouts for the most part these days are mostly focused around flat bench and then a little bit of incline bench. Definitely hitting a 5x5, five 3x3, by five, three by three, sometimes 2x2 two two and a 1 on a flat bench. And then usually when I get to uh, incline bench, I don't usually use, do the 2x2, two 1x1. Two, one one. But I will try to do at least a 5x5 five five and then a 3x3 three three on the incline. And my incline bench has historically been kind of a weaker point for me, but I think I'm getting stronger on it. I mean, it might historically be a weaker point for me because I always do 100 billion sets of flat bench beforehand, but that's okay with me. I'd rather get really strong with flat bench and have my incline be like a second, not like a full secondary, but kind of like a secondary, uh, um, maybe not a full accessory, but a secondary lift that I'm working on. But I think I was, I was doing this for 185 and it felt pretty good. So I think I put like a five on there for the five by five sets, I think. And that felt pretty good. So all in all, um, working out without pain is really nice. And like I said, like the elbow thing, it's I'm talking about it a lot. It's really not that big of a deal. Like it's not something that I think is going to, um, really inhibit my training for a long time. The, bi the biggest thing that it does is make it so I don't really bench for a while just because it, you know, it, it ends up um, getting the things inflamed, but it's all good. Uh, training in general has been fun this week. I haven't been sh filming a lot of workouts for you guys. I probably should be, but uh, since a lot of my workouts, like basically how I'm structuring it now is I do kind of heavy, intense effort for bench, squat, and deadlift. And then I have like back and shoulder days in between, which are really more like hypertrophy workouts. Um, although I did do some deadlifts on my back day, but those ones weren't really heavy deadlifts. They were more like I would deadlift for like a couple, like, I don't know, like reps of like eight to 10. And then I would shrug at the end of it too. So getting the practice of shrugging heavy weight has been good. And it, I can feel it on my traps quite a bit and traps are an area that I need to grow anyway. So I guess that's part of the, one of the reasons why I wasn't filming those. Cause if it's, if it's not like an intense workout, it's not like, I don't know. I mean, I still like, I still do them. It's just not that much fun to record. I'm like, yeah, I'm really into this workout. I'm trying to, I try to still stay focused on it, but the deadlifts and the squats and the bench press are definitely sort of dominating uh, what I look forward to at the gym these days. And it, it's, it's been fun though. Definitely excited to, to record this particular workout for you. I think right now, just to give you a sort of update, we haven't done a, like a physique update in a while. No, I don't know if you guys really even want to see a physique update right now when I'm bulking, but um, right now I'm about 213. So my weight is going up very slowly, but that's what we want. I don't really want to put on a whole lot of body fat. I mean, for, for bulking right now, I'm not like super, super lean, obviously, but I'm also not super fat boy either. Uh, so 213 at 511 is pretty good. I think, you know, I, I bumped up my, my bench max a little bit to 330. I bumped up my squat max a little bit to 365, which is not really very impressive, but just keep an inventory. My deadlift, I have not gone over like 365 on deadlift yet, but deadlift for me right now is an exercise I'm still sort of rebuilding. So I don't necessarily feel a need to go much heavier than like a five by five setup on deadlifts. And I've been doing five by five with 365, which is definitely taxing. Um, so it's not like I'm not training hard. It's just I'm not going extremely heavy. So all in all training is going good. I I'm glad I took this week to take it a little bit easy on my elbow and uh, get everything feeling good. But after this, I kind of did a little bit of dumbbell work, a little bit of chest flies, a little bit of push downs. But I'm gonna, all I'm gonna really show you guys is the benching because that's my favorite part. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely more gym videos on the way. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.